the paramount chief of a Plow traditional area, Tobu Fiti, today led the family of the late Komla Jumo to the presidency to formally announce his death. Komla Jumo hailed from a Plow and died from a heart attack on January 18 at his home in London. Napoleon Atu Kito reports. Komla Dumo of Joy FM and BBC fame, who inspired those in the journalism profession and other people worldwide, is indeed no more. His family has come out in the open to confirm the tragedy which took many by surprise. He had presented the BBC Focus on Africa the previous day, so nothing perhaps could have assuaged the shock accompanying the announcement of his demise hours later that he had suffered a cardiac arrest. Komla Fekka Dumont's death came to us as a shock and has really robbed Aplau, Ghana, Africa, and the whole world of a voice of wisdom. In accordance with the tradition of the flowers and with your kind permission, Your Excellency, Komla's body will be received by the chief and elders of, of his royal clan on the tarmac. On Araba from London. In the words of President John Mahama, it did come as a shock to all of us. We didn't expect it at all. It is said that life starts at 40 because it is expected that by 40 you would have finished your education. By 40 you would have married and started a family. By 40 you would have settled on your career path that will lead you into the future. And so it said that life starts at 40. And so if indeed life starts at 40, then come, come now just one year old on the beginning of the journey of life. And so it is most, 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 you know, regrettable and it's such a waste, you know, of a very valuable talent. Komla Dumont was 41. He is survived by his wife, Krantima, and three children. His father is Professor Ernest Dumont, and he has two siblings, Mrs. Mawena Treba of GIPC, and Dr. Koshi Dumo, based in the United States. Napoleon Atikito reporting.